Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you're here today. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Sarah Braxton and I love to do grocery hauls every single week. I also like to put out what's for dinner videos whenever I have some great dinners to share with you guys. And I also like to put out some really fun like random hauls and other videos in between here and there. So if that sounds good to you, I hope you stick around and become part of my YouTube family. And anyways, I'm so glad you guys are here today. And if you like videos like this, please don't forget to like this video. It helps your girl out. And if you're not subscribed, I would love to have you stick around and hit that red subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. And let's just get in to this week's grocery haul, the last grocery haul of 2020. Oh my gosh, I'm kind of excited about that. So yeah, let's get into this week's grocery haul. Okay, so my little four-year-old daughter, Javelin, she helped me put away, or put these groceries on the counter today, which was so sweet of her. Javi, can you say hi? Hi. She was helping me put all the groceries on the counter and she was telling me about each one, and it was just like the sweetest thing, so I just wanted to show her really quick. Okay, guys, so I just got back from my store called Martin's. I don't know if you have Martin's where you live. I live on the East Coast in Virginia, and it's a local, store to the east coast it is part of like the giant food stores anyways um let's get into it so this week i got some more bread than normal for sure i got a lot of bread i got a french baguette this is for i'm gonna be doing crab legs coming up here for dinner one night and um yeah i didn't really know like what to do my husband said he would just eat like bread with the crab legs so I got some French bread just a baguette for that just kind of fancy bread and then I got some honey wheat bread just the Martin's brand I also picked up a garlic bread loaf a fresh one for spaghetti night which will be happening here soon and then I got some hot dog buns as well just to have because I grabbed some hot dogs and then for sandwiches for um, New Year's Eve, I'm thinking of doing sub sandwiches for dinner, just kind of a chill, fun dinner. So I got some Italian rolls for that. And then I got three bell peppers. I wanted like the pack of peppers, but they just picked out like individual because they didn't have the packs left, the substitution. I did like Martin's grocery pickup. So everything is just like for what they got me. But it worked out really well. There was only a couple substitutions, so I was very happy with that. And then I got some ramen. This is the Ichiban Original Ramen. I don't think I've ever tried this out. Um, I love ramen, so I'm looking forward to trying that out. And then I got some spaghetti noodles for spaghetti night. And back here, I got a bunch of bananas and some spinach just to have on hand in the fridge. We just love spinach in this house. Some Fuji apples. I used all the apples in the house for my pie this Christmas and I needed more apples because we just love apples for snacking. And then I got some baby carrots. Same thing, we just love carrots. Um, fresh carrots just to eat like on the side of a sandwich and then I got some breakfast sausage just to have in the fridge love Johnsonville sausage it's so good and then I picked out some bun size Angus uncured beef franks from ballpark these are a really good one um, and they're such a good price point for uncured hot dogs so I was happy that they had those in stock and then my favorite salami ever is the Columbus brand this brand is so bomb and it's like a pretty decent price point. This is a lot of salami for the price. So I was really glad they had that in stock. That'll be going in our sandwiches. I also um, wanted ham, but they were out of stock. So I'll have to go get some ham before New Year's Eve just to have for our sandwiches. And then also I got some tomatoes for the sub sandwiches. And then I got some American cheese. This is like the deli kind for sandwiches as well. And then just to have on hand, I actually didn't want this big of one, but they substituted the giant cheddar cheese. Like I just wanted the 16 ounce 
and this is 24 ounces and I'm pretty sure I only paid for the 16 ounce size so that's always helpful when they do that. Then I picked out some reduced fat 2% milk. This is the organic. I've been really enjoying organic milk lately and just getting like the half gallons. Some reduced fat culture buttermilk. I want to make like fried chicken probably coming up in the next week or so. And buttermilk can be hard to find. I know you can make your own with like lemon and just regular milk. So that's always a hack, but I was happy to find some actual buttermilk. Salted sweet cream butter just to have in the fridge on hand. And then I got some mozzarella cheese. I'm gonna be making pesto chicken with mozzarella cheese on top coming up here for a dinner. So that is what that's for. I got some sour cream. And for New Year's Eve, I just thought it'd be fun to have like sub sandwiches. And then I'm gonna make my own onion dip with onion soup mix and sour cream. It's so good that way. If you've never done that, it's such a bomb onion dip for chips. I've always wanted to try these out, but I've never ever picked them up because they are a little bit on the pricey side for yogurt, but these are the Wee French style yogurts from YoPlay. And I got two blueberry to try out for my girls. And then for myself, I got lemon because that just sounds so good. I love lemon. And then for my husband, I got strawberry. So I got us all one and they're just so cute. And these jars are adorable. Um, they're just like little glass fancy jars with fancy little lids. I just love the packaging on these. I just had to try them out, so I finally did that. And then I got a dozen eggs, just Martin's like cage-free white eggs. I picked out some Cocoa Classics, and these are the Lando Lakes. Arctic white with chocolate hot cocoa mix. And these are so bomb, I love to make my own coffee, like I have an espresso machine. And then I like to use these in the coffee and make white hot chocolates, they're so good. Um, I definitely recommend these if you have these at your store. I also picked up some decaf coffee. I don't drink like caffeinated coffee just because I just don't feel good when I drink regular caffeine. So I got myself some Martin's Original Roast Decaf Coffee. And then for some tea, I found this Strawberry Fields Herb Tea. And this looked really good. It has like a whole bunch of different things in it, like elderflower and strawberry flavoring and strawberry and then some other things too, but it just looked really yummy. I just love tea as well. And then for my little ones, I got them some baby goldfish and some Annie's macaroni and cheese. This is like a staple in my house. Oh, and then hiding back here, um, my sister last night, she was telling me about this kombucha brand called Brew Doctor and I was like, oh, well maybe I'll be able to find it at my store. So I like looked it up and they had this at my Martin's store and she was just saying this is her favorite kombucha like brand, like it's not overpowering. So I'm really excited to try this out. I've actually only tried kombucha like one time just a sip and it's been like seven years i think my tastes have changed a lot since then and this is the wild berry ginger so it has blueberry blackberry green tea and ginger so that just sounded so yummy so i'm looking forward to trying this out and then another fun thing i found were these kind breakfast protein bars and i just thought these would be nice to have like a healthy snack or a healthy like breakfast as well or lunch option if I'm not very hungry. Some days I'm just not hungry at lunchtime. It has eight grams of protein, it has almond butter. Thought those sounded really good. And then for chicken pesto, I got this Classico traditional basil pesto. So I'm hoping this turns out really well for my pesto chicken. I don't think I've tried this brand. I've only tried like the Trader Joe's pesto, but I'll just put a little bit on there and I think it'll work out. And then I got a, a can of clam chowder, some Organic ketchup, we just always get organic ketchup. It's just always what I pick up. And then in the middle of my grocery haul, which is so random, I'm gonna show you some lotion that I got for my girls. This is the Shea Moisture 100% Virgin Coconut Oil Baby Lotion with Sweet Pea and Muru Muru. <laughs> I don't know how to say that all the way, but this is the best lotion for like little ones. My daughters are like, I have a four-year-old and a six-year-old and I love this stuff for them. 
and it just makes their skin smell so good and so and it just makes them so soft so I definitely recommend this if you're looking for a good like baby or kid lotion I love the Shea Moisture brand like it's just my favorite and then I got some Method dish soap because I was out of dish soap and I got the lime sea salt I got some TV dinners this is the deep Indian kitchen chicken tikka masala and I just love tikka masala dishes like through like Indian restaurants or whatever. I love Indian food and I also love to make it sometimes as well. But I just thought these would be really fun to have in the freezer. And then this is like my favorite little like TV dinner from Amy's. And this is like a very natural organic brand for TV dinners. This is the cheese enchilada meal and it's like so good. It has like a really yummy enchilada black beans and a little corn mixture it's so good just to have in the freezer for one of those days where I want to treat myself for lunch and then I got two Classico traditional sweet basil spaghetti sauce for spaghetti night some more TV dinners I got P.F. Chang's drunken noodles these are really good and then I got the P.F. Chang's chicken lo mein which is really good as well so I just got a couple TV dinners that would be fun to have for lunches. And then some fun little drinks here. So my birthday is coming up January 2nd, so right after New Year's. Anyways, I got these for my birthday. Um, I don't know which one I'm gonna do yet, but these are the Bacardi mixers, and this is the strawberry daiquiri, and then the Bacardi pina colada. So I just thought that'd be fun. I'll get some rum. And I'll make a little fun like mixed frozen drink. So I've never tried these out. I'm hoping they're good, especially like the Bacardi strawberry daiquiri just sounds so good right now. And I can also like make these virgin for my girls and they can join in on the fun drink. So I just thought that'd be really fun and special. I picked out some Briars natural vanilla ice cream just to have on hand, um, just to use for like shakes or what have you. Just like to have the vanilla ice cream in the freezer. Um, I got some tortillas, which is really funny how they're spelled, like you pronounce it. And these just look good. Like I was just on the app and I saw these as an option and they were like a good price point. And they say they're superior dipping chips and restaurant style. So I just thought that looked fun to try out for a new tortilla chip. I was trying to get queso as well, but that was out of stock. So I'll have to go get some of that. And then for Sub sandwich night, I got a whole bunch of chips. I got Harvest Cheddar Sun Chips for my daughters because they're like their favorite. And then I got some Ruffles just to have with the French onion dip I'm gonna make. And then I have been watching this TV show that showcases Takis and I had to try them out because I've never tried one. And in the show, they're like kind of a big part in it. And I just wanted to try them out and see what they're all about because they raved about them and they look so good. I love hot chips. And these are hot chili pepper and lime tortilla chips. But yeah, those looked so good and I'm excited to try those out. Have you guys tried those out? Do you like them? And yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to expect. So I'm excited about that. Anyways. That is my Martin's grocery haul for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I hope you guys have a great New Year's and you are safe and have a fun New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. And I'm so thankful for you guys and I hope you have a great day, night, morning, whenever you watch this. And I will see you guys in the next grocery haul. Bye guys. <laughs>